Brooks is the vice chair of the Center for American Security at America First Policy Institute and former chief of staff at the National Security Council under former President Trump. And he joins us now. Fred, good morning to you. Good morning. You served in national security positions for decades, and this indictment does say that the former president could have put our national security at risk. So how do you feel about that response from the former president yesterday? Well, I'm really appalled at this indictment because Mr. Trump is being charged under the Espionage Act, a law that was passed to prosecute people who are going to commit espionage, spy against this country, give our secrets to other countries. Donald Trump wasn't trying to do that. Nobody thinks that. This is an abuse of the law for a political prosecution against a former president. Do you think he should have just handed over the documents per Brett's question? You know, I, I take the president at his word. These were there were hundreds of documents, hundreds of boxes of documents here. Maybe a quarter of one box had some classified documents, just like we've seen documents in, in uh uh, uh, President Biden's house and his home office. Most of these boxes were full of personal items, clothing. I, I, I think that we should look at what happened here, and we're not getting the whole story. Uh, Fred, you and uh, several other national, uh, former national security officials wrote a letter to Congress essentially telling them that they need to look into who the FBI is giving security clearances to. And you say that the Durham report proves that. John Durham, by the way, is going to be testifying on Capitol Hill later today. What do you mean by that? Well, look, Dora makes it very clear that the FBI failed its responsibility of strict fidelity to the law by pushing a bogus investigation for political reasons. And what the letter that the, that the, the America First Policy Institute put forward is, there has to be accountability. Who gets clearances? How can they be revoked? Everybody involved in this fraudulent investigation, crossfire hurricane, the Russia Trump collusion uh, uh, hoax, everyone involved in that should lose their security clearances. We want to know how are they allocated and how can they be pulled. Beyond just the security clearance aspect of this, let's face it, Durham's going to be in a seat. Obviously, we're not going to necessarily be able to watch this because it's behind closed doors. But what else should Republicans press Durham on? For instance, I'm thinking, why were there not so many arrests in your own probe, Mr. Durham? No, that's a really good question. Durham talks about uh, many, many instances of unethical and probably illegal behavior. Why were so few people indicted? But I think more important, there's something called the Clinton Plan Intelligence mentioned by Durham. This is the effort by Hillary Clinton's campaign, approved by Hillary, to push this false Russia collusion narrative to, to hurt Trump and Trump's campaign. Why were people involved in this not indicted? Why was Hillary Clinton not indicted? Who are the unnamed Clinton campaign officials mentioned in the report. Can the committee find out their names? Can they also be forced to testify? Fred, there's a big report out in the Wall Street Journal this morning, and it's titled, Beijing Plans a New Training Facility in Cuba, Raising Prospects of Chinese Troops on America's Doorstep. Discussions for the facility on Cuba's northern coast are at an advanced stage, but not concluded, U.S. intelligence reports suggest. I can imagine this is something Secretary of State Antony Blinken brought up yesterday. Um, how much of a threat is this, and does the United States have the power to stop this facility from going in? I don't think we should assume that Blinken brought that up. I, th I think Blinken's purpose was to ease tensions with China and to say whatever he had to say to get them to let up. The whole media was conditioned on what can the U.S. do to improve relations, as if the, the rise in tensions is the fault of the United States. China respects strength. They have not seen strength in this administration. That's why they, we've seen these new electronic spying facilities, and now there's the, these reports of a troop training facility in Cuba. It's a very dangerous situation. Yeah, we worry a lot about China in Asia. It's past time we start worrying about China mm. in our area, Latin and South yep. and Southern America. Anthony Blinken also said yesterday we do not support Taiwan independence, which is something we're going to be talking about later yes. on in the show as well. Fred, thank you very much. Appreciate it. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.